Hi, uh, welcome to my tutorial. Uh, in this series, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, build your own website using WordPress. So, uh, make sure you follow every videos I make and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you get updated uh, every day uh, when I upload new videos. To develop website, we need uh, different softwares. Uh, the first one is uh, a web server uh, for web server I'm going to use ZAMP because uh, it contains uh, a MySQL database PHP and separate web server so that uh, it will make uh, our uh, installation uh, easier ZAMP is just an open source web server solution developed by uh, Apache friends uh, as I said before it includes Apache uh, MySQL database and PHP so uh, we don't need to uh, install them separately uh, and it works uh, on Linux, Mac and Windows as well so uh, let me navigate to Google and uh, uh, download uh, this software Just type uh, download ZAMP. Go to just ApacheFriends.org. Since I'm using Windows, uh, I'm going to just download the 32 bit of uh, ZAMP for Windows. Now uh, our download is uh, started. Uh, I, I have already downloaded the software so that I'm going to pause it here and proceed with the installation. This is the software, just uh, let us run it. Just Just this is a just a warning. You can leave it uh, as it is. Just press OK. You can close it. Now this is the uh, jump setup. Just click next to proceed. These are some of the components uh, that are available with jump. So we will uh, proceed with the default one. And uh, we have to just choose a folder to install ZAMP. In my case, it is on C directory and ZAMP. That's fine for me, so uh, I'll proceed. Just click next. Learn more about it and just ignore this. Next. Now the setup is ready to install. Click next. Now the setup is installing. Okay, I'm going to pause the video here uh, and I'll be back after the installation is completed. Okay, uh, our installation is completed. Okay, to open the control panel, go to start. Just there is a ZAMP control panel. Click on it. Okay, as you have seen here, uh, here we have a ZAMP control panel so that you can control every module of just the ZAMP so in our cases uh, we need just Apache and MySQL only uh, here we do have different uh, modules okay we don't need them for this tutorial so the next step will be uh, starting Apache and MySQL just to start Apache and MySQL just click start here Okay, now it's running on port 80 and 443. Make sure that uh, these both ports are not occupied by some other applications. If in case you have just some other application running with this port, you have to just make sure to change uh, these ports. The next one is my MySQL database.
Okay, uh, here you can just monitor the status of uh, both uh, Apache and uh, MySQL and both of uh, our modules are now running. This means that we can, inst uh, we can start developing just uh, uh, web application. Just let us just see uh, the structure of uh, our XAMPP installations. Go to XAMPP folder. Okay, this is the XAMPP installation directory. So everything, uh, every configuration files uh, in HTML and PHP files will uh, will be just placed uh, inside XAMPP directory. So uh, what we need now is uh, a place where to uh, store our uh, HTML or PHP files is just here in htdocs directory. Let us open that directory. Here I do have uh, different projects. So uh, for my new project, let me create uh, one directory. Just let me call it tutorial. So inside the tutorial folder, uh, I'll place my HTML files or PHP files so that uh, we can simply run it on uh, our computer. Just to show you an example, uh, let us go to uh, an editor. I am using Sublime Editor. You can use whatever you want. So uh, let me just take some file and here I do have an HTML file. Title is welcome. Uh, as a body, I'm using just my first website. Let me save this file. Save us. So uh, we have to place this file inside the tutorial directory. Zamp htdocs tutorial. So just in index.html. Save. Now we have created uh, our first website. Uh, so to to view this website, you have to go to browser and navigate to just. To view first, you have to write localhost or your computer. Uh, you can use your computer IP, localhost slash the directory name we created earlier, tutorial, then index.html. Now, here we go. This is our first website. So, this is uh, how we just prepare our environment. In the next tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how to download and uh, install uh, WordPress. Thank you. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel below. Thank you.